Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. For this blog, I'm going to just be talking about um, one of my favorite writers of all time, if not my favorite writer of all time, and that is Tad Williams. Now, when I was a teenager, I first picked up this book, The Dragon Bone Chair, and from the first sentence, I fell in love with it. I mean, I'd been reading fantasy my whole childhood, but it wasn't until I read Tad Williams that I realized that there was actually music in the words, that there was actually an eloquence to the way that you fit words together and that the way that you could fit sentences together. And I'd never seen a writer do it before I read Tad Williams, but it really, really inspired me to start writing on my own, just the, just the poetic way that he wrote. Um, those of you that are familiar with his books, you'll know what I'm talking about. As the camera pans down onto my whole collection, because I've been collecting Tad Williams ever since I first read The Dragon Bone Chair, and I've loved every single one of his books. I think, I think that they're just all magnificent. He's a great with plot. He's great with character. He's great with drama. He's great with pacing. And most of all, he's one of the greatest writers I've ever come across. That's why I've fallen in love with everything he's done. So one of the things I wanted to talk about with this kind of a uh, fanboy sort of moment here on YouTube is after, after 25 years of reading his books and being a fan of his and then writing my own book, the thing was is I have the same literary agent as Tad Williams, Mr. Uh, Matt Bialer, who also represents Pat Rothfuss and a few other big, huge, epic fantasy writers. But since I have the same agent as, as Tad, I was able to spend several evenings with Tad at dinner um, with my agent, discussing books, letting Tad know how much his writing meant to me, discussing everything, really. But, you know, if you would have told me when I was a kid that one day I would be having dinner with one of my writing heroes, not just once, but twice, and spending basically a whole weekend with him at Salt Lake Comic Con, I would have probably said, you're crazy. I probably would have also said, yeah, I can see that happening because I know I'm pretty determined and I'll probably write a book someday and I'll probably get published and, you know, it might happen. And uh, another thing I would think is, uh, wow, that would just be awesome if that happened. But Tad Williams ended up signing all of these books for me, as you can see. Every time I read a book, I put an X in the top corner so you can see how many times I've read that one. I always buy, I always put the name of the bookstore that I buy the book in inside each book. And then Tad Williams signed all of my books and he personalized each one of them. And so I've got to thank Tad for a few things. A, being such a gracious person when we finally met. Um, and B, being just an inspiration to me and to probably countless other writers. You know, everybody knows the famous story of how George R.R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones, wasn't going to write fantasy until he read The Dragon Bone Chair. And he said that this book also was the biggest inspiration for The Game of Thrones. Well, it's also the biggest inspiration for my own novel, which I dropped, <clears throat> The Forgetting Moon. So I suggest everybody go out and get Tad Williams. And uh, if you want to read someone who writes really well, here you go.